three best throwing of stones from inside the glass house. Michael Goldfarb, a spokesman for Senator McCain, excoriating the New York Times for calling McCain on his lies about the race card in the paper's blog rather than in the paper itself. Goldfarb also dismissed the average Daily Coast diarist as, quote, sitting at home in his mother's basement and ranting into the ether between games of Dungeons and Dragons. Goldfarb, of course, writes the McCain campaign official blog. Project much, buddy? Number two, best playing of the witch card, Congressman Tim Wahlberg of Michigan, the only one of the 43 members of the House Education Committee to vote against the reauthorization of the Head Start program. He has explained that a provision in the bill does not permit faith-based organizations running Head Start projects from hiring only those of their faith. So, say, if a Catholic church with a Head Start program got a job application from a Muslim or, quoting Wahlberg, a Wiccan from a coven in Ann Arbor, they couldn't turn them down. Congressman, you got some kind of witch infiltration in Ann Arbor? She turned me into a newt. And number one, best business up front party in the back. Politico.com reports that about 100 members of the business association, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, had quite the night at a D.C. sports bar this week called The Exchange. They ordered 100 people, 208 mixed drinks, 111 shots, 43 margaritas, 11 open bottles of liquor, 37 bottles of beer, and 155 pitchers of beer. The tab was $8,204. Well, at least it was from some, some good business cause, right? Some lobbying effort, loosening up some foreign money. Actually, no, it was the celebration of the conclusion of the Chamber Bowl, the Chamber of Commerce's annual softball tournament.